What's up my pony nails? Andy, Andy Vlogs. Excited to share with you guys this content here. Well, we'll get to that. With that said here, the title suggests that we're gonna be going over the Light Chaser Pro cage that was recently announced and released this year for the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max. I've got the Pro Max, I've got the Light Chaser Pro case and rig with grip, which is my favorite. I also have the Bluetooth shutter, which I think is a really complete package. And they apparently, Light Chaser Pro with Polar Pro, they decided to compete against themselves. I know that there's a bunch of rigs out there like the small rig here that recently released their iteration of this rig, uh, obviously before. And so it seems like uh, the Light Chaser Pro is trying to undercut that market, but they're competing against themselves because these are like priced almost the same. With that said, we are gonna be comparing the small rig rig with the Light Chaser Pro rig. I'm not gonna bury the lead here. The small rig rig is fantastic. It is the best rig out there, lightweight, versatile, and the accessory grip is awesome, fantastic. This is not, this is, this is bad. With that said, this is not a sponsored video. No one paid me any money here. I purchased all of these with my own money, but I will have down below links in the description for these products here that are affiliate links that do help out the channel. Let's jump into this. Okay, Light Chaser Pro cage and a uh, quarter inch handle. These are very heavy. I can feel them. They, uh, I don't like it. Let's unbox these. All right, firstly, who is this for? This is for the creator, this is the professional, someone who wants to take uh, cinematography and photography on the iPhone seriously. The Light Chaser Pro with grip, uh, this is kind of for the amateur, the vlogger, that kind of a thing, uh, but it's just, why wouldn't you put a Bluetooth shutter here? I don't get it. That was the biggest and best part about having a nice ergonomic light handle is to have that Bluetooth shutter, but they, they don't incorporate it here. It's frustrating. Whereas the handle grip from the folks at Shift Cam has it. It's fantastic, it's terrific. It's a little bit bigger than I'm comfortable for, but it's much lighter. That's the one of my biggest issues here is you do have this cool handle, but it's there's no practicality to it. It's it, it doesn't help. You'll notice that the function is almost the same, right? You have the ability to use moment lenses, right, on uh, the cage. You also have it on the the case. But I think the way that they execute it is very poor. While the cage does come with a wrist strap, it's got a really annoying locking system that I don't like at all. Uh, it's a two two in one case where you have to take out and flip up these grips, which holds in the inner silicone case. This provides little to no protection here. It's super flimsy and it's only supposed to be semi scratch resistant. There's no magnets inside and so it does reduce the magnetism of the MagSafe by quite a bit because it's got that extra buffer in between it. Putting the iPhone in the case is just fine, but it's so sl slim and flimsy. I would never carry this around. This is not something that I would take out of the cage and just you know go around solo. It seems like it barely grabs around the phone. The bezel is very flimsy and weak. It does have this protrusion for your speaker as well as the dynamic island. Uh, there's little to no protection here for your lens, so if it lands flat on its back, it's not protecting the lens at all. You do have the MagSafe capability, it does go through, but again, you have that buffer that doesn't reinforce the magnets. My biggest gripe with the cage here is that it actually pushes up against your screen protector. I wanna protect this phone as much as I can, it's very expensive, and I wanna have a case that will be able to support the screen protector, but no, these little ridges grab against the phone and it actually pushes the screen protector up. You can already see it right there. It's starting to already push out, which is really, really frustrating. Other than that, it's kind of nice. You do have a complete cutout for the power button, which is protected by the inner case. You have the do not disturb, which is open, as well as the volume rocker. So um, I think what they did to get away from having this weird bridge across this is just by cutting a big old hole and then uh, having it reinforced by the silicone, which is kind of interesting. You can see you've got your two mounts here on the bottom, which is kind of standard. You've got your other quarter inch mount on there. 
You've got a cold shoe mount here, as well as a grip and mounts on the bottom side. You do have two cold shoe mounts here, one landscape and one horizontal, uh, which you have access to, which is nice. As you can see with little use here, it's already pushing up against my screen protector, which is frustrating. I'm gonna have to replace that now. Attaching it here is no problem. You can see that it can be reinforced there to provide you ample grip. Once you screw it tight, it kind of clicks and now it's really, really secure. If you wanted, you can slide this grip however you want to hold it. You have that versatility, which is really nice. And then you can tighten it here on the edge with this Allen wrench. On the bottom side, you do have a quarter inch mount as well as another cold shoe mount if you wanted to opt into the grip. But that's about it. I mean, looking at it here, it's really nice. It actually looks good. It does feel really nice and soft. However, in praxis, I just don't like it. You have the ability here to place the moment lens on here if you want, which is a really nice tight grip. It slides right on there, providing you that really nice, sleek, professional look. If you wanted to opt into one of their filters, I, I recommend the Mist V&D, which allows you obviously the neutral density of being able to shoot at lower shutter speeds. And also you have which provides you a great look uh, when you're doing shooting some cinematography. So this is really, really nice. I like this touch. If you couple this with a couple of accessories, maybe like a mount and a microphone, you have that ability, but you're missing that Bluetooth shutter button, which I think is crucial, especially if you got something so far away from your rig. Um, I don't know, it just, it, I, I don't like it. Showing you the comparison here, here is the small rig. It's obviously enabled with the moment adapter, which is nice. You can't attach the Polar Pro filters. You do have the same kind of grip here on the side as well as cold shoe mount. You have the grip on the bottom as well, cold shoe mount, as well as the other fittings as well. So this is a little bit different. This is uh, aligned here with the rubberization on the bottom. So it's one unit that kind of snaps out like this and you slide it within it. It slides all the way down. You do have a little bit of touch points right here that are metallic. But other than that, you have the rubber here providing you that stability. Uh, I will grant that, that there is a weak point right here where the do not disturb is, and you do have rubber buttons that aren't like super clicky. Nonetheless, the, uh, the grip here is fantastic. You've got that shutter button, which is really, really cool. You can shoot great angles, all that good stuff, just like this. I really like it. If only I had this here and this rigging here without it pushing up against my screen, it would be key, it would be crucial because uh, I actually have the adapter where you can grab the moment anamorphic and put the filter mount on there. It's really, really cool. Nonetheless, um, I've got one thing on each that I wish I had the other half. You do still have the ability to do MagSafe, but it does limit here. Uh, actually, you know what? It, it actually doesn't. You, you, you can't really place it on there. And then if you can see the magnets, the magnets haven't been placed well. Whereas on the small rig, um, it just it's better because it's open. I can place it right on there on the phone and have no problem. All right, my ponyos, well that about does it here. You guys have the comparison. You can see that the cage, in my opinion, is far inferior to the small rig cage. I love how light this is. They've iterated it. I love the Bluetooth handle. It's fantastic. It's really robust and it doesn't hurt my wrist. The only difference here is that I wish I could fit my anamorphic with filter mount adapter here, but unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to stick with the Light Chaser Pro case. With that said, guys, if you like this content, hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more. It was a little bit longer one, sorry about that. Uh, I'll have all of these products here down below in the links in the description. Hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Bye.